So ever since I was seven, I've always wanted to be a rock star. So when I was seven years old, I uh, started playing rock band and Guitar Hero, and that's what really inspired me to start actually doing music. A couple years later, when I was nine years old, I finally picked up the guitar, and by then I was, I was hooked. I played for hours every single day. That's when we started moving a lot. Um, moved to Hong Kong, Germany, and, and France, and then finally Florida. That's where I met my band. Uh, started going to the School of Rock in St. Pete. From then on, we played. We played a lot of cool shows, talent shows. We even played at a festival one time. Yeah, it was awesome. We were just kids, you know. I was 14 or 15 years old when I joined that band. Then eventually, some stuff happened, and uh, we ended up breaking up. So I started doing my own thing. Got free programs on my computer. Got a little shitty mic to record with, and started doing. I guess you can call it emo rap or just hip-hop. I was kind of all over the place. I was just messing around, posting stuff to SoundCloud. A few people liked it. Now when I look back on it, it sounds super cringy. <laughs> and I started evolving, I guess, as an artist and tried to start taking it a lot more seriously. Um, at that point, people really started to like my music. I started making more pop type of music. Even then, after that, as I was evolving, it just, it wasn't me. So I went back to what I know, which is rock music and punk rock. I was very influenced by by Green Day and Linkin Park, Sum 41, Blink-182. Quickly realized that my voice kind of sucked, so I started taking singing lessons. After I started taking vocal lessons, that really boosted my, my confidence. So then I got a way better mic. Didn't really change my program. I've gotten so used to the same program I've always used, which is FL Studio. I kept evolving and finally found my sound. The way I do music now, is I know a few producers, buy the beats from them. Then I'll start recording my lyrics, I'll put all the effects on, I'll do some guitar solos if I feel like that it needs it. I use a Focusrite 2i2 to record myself. So far I'm doing, I'm doing really good. I remember I used to freak out when I got 100 views. Now I've been on the radio, I just dropped an album probably about a month ago now. It's been doing really well. Probably over 60 playlists now on Spotify, YouTube, and Apple Music. It's been on the radio, it's been on Sirius XM. Even though I do a lot of stuff myself, I still have a lot of really good people, good friends, good family who help me a lot with a lot of things like photography and videography. So that's a bit of my life right there and my evolution as an artist. So yeah, I don't think I have uh, anything else to say. Thanks for watching.